What's up, you guys? Welcome to my crib. <laughs> what is up, little gang? It's your boy, David Matt, guys. Welcome back to another video. I hope everyone's having a blessed day, guys, as always. And Loki, I hope you guys miss me, guys. Because if you guys haven't seen, I haven't posted in two months, guys. Oh, my God. What the hell is going on, guys? I'm so sorry. Been super busy with the paleteria, guys. But... Anyways, uh, I wanted to film another video, guys. It's really hot. It's probably like 100 outside right now. Uh, we're in summer. We're in July. So, as you can tell, it's a thumbnail and title, guys. I brought a brand new 2023 toy hauler. Check it out right now. <laughs> no, but honestly, guys, I did buy a toy hauler. Um, if you guys don't know or are new to my channel, I do have a Can-Am. I have a truck. I have a trailer. Um, you know, we go riding and stuff uh, to the dunes. But we always tent it, guys. We always sleep in tents. And one of my, you know, goals this year was to buy a trailer so that we're not in tents. But we're not sleeping on the sand or on the dirt. We would always sleep on our trucks, guys, in the tents, and I hated it. So uh, I wanted to show you guys this trailer. And before we get started, guys, just know I am not filming this video to show off by any means because I actually have a lot of friends. Uh, family members that have way better trailers than me, but I wanted to show you guys because I'm happy. I was happy A lot of people think you have to buy this super super expensive uh, trailer to you know have fun But honestly guys got this trailer. I'm just gonna tell you how much I paid for it right off the bat I got the trailer for 7,000 guys and everything works, which is why I like it It has a shower it has you know beds it has AC it has a heater it has the whole thing. So anyways uh, Yeah, guys, I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of the trailer um, it is a 1999 uh, Fun Chaser by Carson Trailers. Super nice. I think it's like a 21 footer. A 21 footer or 20 footer? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a 21 footer. But uh, anyway, oh, before we go into the trailer though, guys, like I said, if you guys are new to my channel, um, I am pulling this trailer with my truck. Uh, this is a Dodge, it's a 2018 uh, Dodge Ram 2500 Longhorn uh, Crew Cab. So I love it. So yeah, guys, I haven't done nothing to it. Uh, honestly, I just color matched it and just that's pretty much it. Anyways, guys, let's move uh, to the trailer. Man, so starting off on the outside, guys, it does have this awning. The only thing that I don't like about it is that obviously it's not electric. You know, like the newer ones, just the buttons. It goes out, you know, that's cool. Honestly, everything works, so I'm not really worried about it. As long as, you know, like it comes out and it does its thing, I ain't trying. So yeah, guys, it has the whole awning. Um, has the, the lights. The previous owner guys did, um, I guess I like, can put like brighter LEDs or something like that. I don't know, but all the lights work on the outside. The back lights, the uh, trailer lights, everything works good. So guys, what I did buy like right away when I bought it, I got a new tongue jack because this one, as you tell it, it was like taped. So I, that's like the first thing I bought the next day. I got a brand new electric one. So I'm not, you know, like struggling with this thing. I just had to put it on. But anyways, let's go inside. What up? So guys, this is the trailer. You know what? I'm just gonna keep the door open. Just uh, leave the spring. This is the trailer, guys. Um. Yeah, it's cool. I don't know if you guys can see, but everything is literally intact. Um, I I do want to do a little bit of touch-ups, but starting off in the front, guys, as you can tell, this is the whole um, you know kitchen, I guess you could say, in the front. Moving on to the bathroom, though, guys. This is where the, the whole bathroom is right here. We've got the shower. And like I said, guys, everything works. That's why I freaking love this trailer. I didn't want to buy something and kind of like have to spend more money you know what i'm saying so this is the shower i do want to get the whole shower redone get better walls because this is the only thing that i did hate about the shower is that it's wood so i want to put like that you know that plastic type material um yeah get the whole shower redone um take this off and whatnot and uh yeah do that um this is the sink obviously right you got the toilet to do your thing right blow it up it's right here this is the fridge there you go the freezer Everything works. The other day I was kind of like tripping because I turned it on and it wasn't working, but found out it takes like an hour to get really cold. So now I know, right? Before you get to camp, make sure you turn it on before you get there. So freezer, got the fridge right here. Um, and you know what? Moving to right here to the to the kitchen area. So the guy, guys, the previous owner had a four-door. I have a two-seater. He had a four-door, so he made this con uh, contraption, right? If you guys don't know, right here, 
is an oven. So an uh, oven would go right here. The guy ended up taking the whole oven out and made this like shelf right here. So this does go down. He bought this uh, stove right here. So I got this. I still have the stove, but what I like is that I can fit a four door if I wanted to in the future. Fit in here. And uh, yeah, that's, that was actually pretty smart what he did. So this folds down and the car can go all the way up. Like I said, I do have a two seater, so I don't even go all the way up. I, I think I, my front wheels are like right here. So do like that. Uh, moving up, oh yeah, he did leave the you know this little, little decoration right here. I, even though I don't you know drink Corona or or Modelo that much, I do drink a little, a little bit of Pacific. I might have to add a little ultra, a little ultra one down here though. But anyways, guys, um, I don't want to get too much. You know, we got the AC up here, right? The guy did add a lot of lights. Um, and then, as you can tell, guys, right here, we do have the um, two little seats that it did come with, right? The guy gave me these seats. So what I do like about it, guys, is that this table that he made goes down. So he just goes down like this, you know, put the seats in the front, and then just drive the car in. So this is pretty cool, you know? So when you're eating in the morning, you just... You know, be drinking your coffee or whatnot right here, a little sandwich, you know. So this side obviously is a couch, aka a bed. So I guess it turns into a bed. You just put the legs up like this. Boom. Come on this side. Bam. And then bam. So you can sleep. So that's pretty cool. Um obviously as you can tell it's only two beds. Honestly, it's just me and my girlfriend, me and Giselle. I don't, you know, have kids or whatnot, but if I do want to add like a foldable, you know, like another bed up down here. Maybe add another bed. I don't know though. Low key, I do like it like that. Less beds, less friends want to come with you, okay? <laughs> but um, yeah, guys, it did come with, uh, you know, all the shelves. If anything, I do want to touch up the, the, all the shelves, put new handles, maybe paint them. Um, oh, I forgot on this side is the, um, the unit. So, you know, I can check my battery. The, you know, like the battery life. I could check the poop tanks, the water tank, and like I said, uh, the battery. Down below, guys, is the stereo. Um, it did come with four speakers. As you can tell, we got one, two, and then three, four. So it bumps. You know what? Let's turn it on real quick. You want to turn it on? Turn it on. So yeah, guys, that's the music. But let me show you guys how this folds out, guys, because this is like pretty cool. You just move this to the side. And look at, this is cool. This is the cool part. Bam. Look at that. So now, if you have a four door, it literally goes all the way up to the walls right here. You know, so that was super smart of the previous owner. Bam. Put the stove back on when I get to camp. It's ready to go. Obviously, you're gonna feed the whole hose down the little pole and whatnot, right? Had everything, make it look all neat. But honestly, inside, I think that's about it. Like I said, it has the AC, guys. It has the heater. If you guys are, you know, in the works or thinking about buying a trailer, don't want to spend that much money. I honestly do recommend an older trailer, just as long as it works, right? It gets the job done. AC heater. Uh, oh yeah, look at. Got a little light right here. You know, when you're making the tacos or whatever, you, you know, your wife's making. Has a little fan. You know, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, but like I said, guys, if you guys are thinking about buying a trailer, honestly, just do it. If you guys want to buy a new one, do what you got to do. But honestly, this does everything a new one does, which is why I like it. Um, another thing, oh, guys, I did buy this little ladder because it didn't come with one. So I wanted to buy one. I checked Amazon, guys, 80 to 100 bucks. Tripping. So I ended up finding this one on offer up for $30. So I did come up on this. All right, I got the little ladder. Bam. Other than that, I'm gonna show you guys um, how good my car fits in here. Because if you guys are wondering, David, I don't wanna buy an old trailer because my car doesn't fit. They're not up to date. They're not wide enough for the new cars. Well, you're tripping. If you buy a trailer, please make sure that your car fits because honestly, I have a lot of friends, guys, that have newer trailers, bigger trailers than me. I'm talking about fifth wheels. And their cars don't even fit. They have to change tires. They have to strap their freaking, um, their cars like closer to make it fit. You know, change like tires and stuff like that. <laughs> My brother's mad because he has to do that. He has a new trailer, but he has to, you know, mess with his car to make it fit, which is okay. But I'm just saying, you know, like if you're really tired at camp and that's the last thing you want to be changing tires, 
You literally just drag your car up. You don't have to be changing tires. So make sure your car fits. Let's go. So it's pretty cool. And honestly, to open it, it's really easy. I mean, it shouldn't be hard, but I'm saying like, I'm not the biggest guy, you know, as you can tell, I'm not that, you know, like, but I can get open. I can get it open easy. <laughs> if anything, I'm going to put some WD-40 on the thing. It opens up even easier, but let me put the car in, guys. I got the mamalona right here. Just throw my the, the sexy car right now. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Anyways, let me set it up for you guys. Put the table down. Let me just move this ladder. So bam, guys, put the couches in front, fold it up, you know, the table, the bed on this side, put the uh, the bunk bed all the way to the top, to the top. And uh, yeah, let's put the car in. taking off tires, right? I'm not strapping my front end, right? I just go in and I'm ready to go. You a lot of room too. The only thing that I do hate though about this, is getting out though, guys, because my car is so like short, the cage, but I have to get out to the, obviously through the um, passenger side because on this side, I'm gonna hit the, I'm gonna hit the bed. Oh, you know what? I think I can get out, can I? Oh no. I might squeeze out. I might squeeze out a little bit. Let me see. Oh yeah, I can. Oh heck yeah. Ugh. I didn't know that actually. That's pretty cool. Last time, guys, I got out the um, the front. And that sucked, but there we go, guys. Everything fits. Go clean the back lug. I can still load it up with paddles. If anything, guys, I did go too much to the right. Cause look at the left side. I'm not even touching the front end at all over there. Can you see? Bam. So yeah, guys. Like I said, if anything, I'm gonna load it up with the paddles. You know, when it's time to go to the dunes or just to go anywhere. You know, not necessarily just the sand, but. That's the part that I like about it. And other than that, guys, I wish it was a little dark. That way I can show you the lights because the lights are bright as hell. Um, yeah, guys, I'm ready to go. Check it out. How does it look? How does it look? Hey, look how sexy that looks, bro. Look how sexy that looks. Crazy. Got the you know, little, little chairs in the front. I'm ready to go, guys. Well, that's gonna end today's video, guys. Like I said, you guys do not need anything fancy. I'm like I said, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys watching this video have a better trailer than me, you know. So just get whatever you guys could afford. If it does a job, that's all you need. But guys, now thinking about it, if you guys want to see what our newer trailer looks like, my brother just bought a brand new 2023. Let's give him a little sneak peek, actually. Just a little quick sneak peek because I don't want to bore you guys. So let's go. So, guys, this is my brother's 2023 uh trailer that he just got so obviously you can tell the difference right everything's way more fancier a little you know up to date um yeah just like the whole furniture looks better same thing like i said guys his has the same thing mine has it just a little more up to date you got the freaking freezer up here freezer you got the fridge right you got the microwave you got an oven so see i took well the guy took mine out you got the oven you got the stove got the super nice scene you know and uh, he has the bed. His bed is also electric like mine. But like I said, his goes up like way faster, right? Up and down. That's pretty cool. That, you know, the nice couch up to date as well. Two of these um, chairs. The only thing that's cool about his is that his, his chairs recline. So, damn. My chairs don't recline. That's the only thing that I hear about mine. So this is like the, the bed right here. Um, it is longer than mine. This whole bed goes up, and he can fit um, my, my niece's uh, razor all the way in the front. And then his um, he has a four door, so he would put his four door razor right here. Another thing that I didn't mention on mine, guys, is that I do want to add a TV. Uh, my brother added one; it, it didn't come with the trailer, so I want to add one to mine. Um, but like I said, he has a four door, so he would put it up to like right here, and then the razor, the little small razor, just fits perfect on this side. But like I said, guys, the only thing about my brothers is that. He has to strap up his front end to make it fit because it's it's too wide so it hits the shelves right here so like i said guys you know it's whatever you go with whatever you if you don't you know if it's not a big problem to you it doesn't matter but he has to strap his front end to make it fit moving on to the bathroom though this is the bathroom quick i don't want to bore you guys so like i said guys just way fancier than mine you know it has the whole thing shower toilet better everything everything's better right got the fan so anyways 
that's gonna end today's video guys if you guys want to see a whole tour on this trailer um comment down below we'll do a whole outside you know walk around just like mine the whole inside we'll go into detail on that but comment down below guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video just know i am not we're not filming this video to show off whatsoever because like i said i'm pretty sure you guys have way better trailers than, than us but comment down below guys subscribe like this video if you guys want to see more can-am or off-roading content comment down below and uh yeah guys peace out i'll see you guys on the next video peace out